Hey, it's Dr. Greg Olson here at OC Integrative Health, and I just wanted to chat with you today some about the thyroid. A lot of people are curious about what it does and where it's at, so just a little brief here. So first off, we're going to talk about it. Where's the thyroid? Uh, many of you have heard that the, butter, that the uh, thyroid is a butterfly-shaped gland in the front of your neck here, so just a nice visual for you. This would be resting in the front of your neck. So this is the thyroid gland, and we separate it here. You can see why it's called a butterfly-shaped gland. All right. So when we palpate it, we can feel that, um, and here you can see it. So thyroid comes from the Greek word thyreos, which means shield. So the thyroid is a shield. Now it's hard to imagine the thyroid being a shield, this little tiny gland here. Uh, when we picture a shield, like, hey, I'm gonna hold this up and uh, protect myself. Uh, but it's not that physical shield. It is what we call a metabolic shield, okay? So it applies the brakes and puts on steps on the gas as needed. So for example, if you are too cold, or if you're cold, it should step on the gas to heat you up. If you're too hot, it should step on the brakes and slow you down. If you have been uh, too stressed, it's gonna tend to slow you down uh, to control how uh, your body's reacting, all right? So the metabolic shield function of the thyroid is very important. So when we talk about low thyroid, what's commonly or virtually never talked about is why is the thyroid getting low? And we're just gonna talk about one possibility, uh, but part of functional medicine in looking at this is going into, well, why is this happening? Not just saying, here's what we do for it, okay? Um, in terms of thyroid hormones, because uh, those could be valuable, but uh, what if you're just putting a, a patch on it uh, when you're really missing the problem, okay? So uh, as a protective gland, all right? So say if you're sick, uh, it's going to ramp up your cellular function to get you a fever going, to get your immune system going, all kicked in there together. Um, and what if you are toxic? What if you've been too stressed, as we mentioned before? What if you've got toxins in your body, like you have drank too much, where you feel like garbage and you have no energy the next day? That's that turning it down because um, you just can't function in a toxic environment. There's one other area we talk about, it's called biotoxins. And biotoxins are toxins that can accumulate in your system for a variety of reasons. Um, it can be metabolically over overactivity. It can be uh, a, a gut that's not working properly producing toxins. It could be uh, fungus or mycotoxins, all right? So those are things that if they are toxic and your cells are toxic, would it make sense that if, you're, uh, if you had a car and your car is sick, it's misfiring, there's problems with it that you wanna go, hey, let's go drive it harder, let's push on the gas. It doesn't make sense, all right? The same thing in the body. Thyroid's gonna be your protector. If things are messed up, it is likely going to put on the brakes and say, hey, let's slow things down because if I speed things up, it's gonna make a whole lot of mess going on, all right? So food for thought, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that today. This is a little chat about the thyroid. My name is Dr. Greg Olson here at OC Integrative Health, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Take care, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.